High class fit and finish. Interiors that would make any luxury car jealous. And a ride you wouldn't be embarrassed taking to a black tie affair. Are not what you think when you hear the word truck. Because they were initially built to get you through sticky situations, haul heavy loads to work during the week, and unload your toys on the weekend. And just a decade ago, the words luxury and truck didn't belong in the same sentence. But nowadays, there are a few cheap trucks that punch way above their curb weight and offer all the comfort and perks of high-end European sedans with the capability of a rural workhorse. It's great to see you guys again. Let's go. <laughs> There's no way to better start off this list than with the OG luxury truck, the GMC Sierra Denali. Okay, here's a little history lesson. The Denali trim level has brought that special flair to the GMC lineup since the 1999 Yukon. In fact, my family had one of those trucks as a kid, and we used to say, you can go wherever you want to. Fast forward to 2014, when the regular Sierra just wasn't enough for the affluent buyer, GMC offered those disconcerning customers the $60,000 plus Denali trim. With its bold 20 inch chrome wheels, oversized grill and LED headlamps and enough comfort and power to keep things classy when things got rocky. And when you open up that driver's door, you're met with pure luxury. The cowboy influence is strong here with rich leather seats that are both heated and cooled, plus a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. And of course, you can't miss the striking high-end aluminum trim with finishing touches like Denali inscribed in the headrests, just in case you forgot you were in GMC's range topping trim. Yeah, GMC tried extremely hard with this rig, even using triple door seals to eliminate road noise. And you know, quiet down all those poor people outside. And have you ever heard the old joke, what's a Denali have in common with a Corvette? Well, most of its engine, that's what. That's right, you would be hard pressed not to find one with the Corvette bred 6.2 liter V8 with 420 horsepower under the hood. And with the tow happy eight speed automatic transmission, those excellent gear ratios keep the torque rich engine right in the sweet spot and will blast this 2.5 ton piece of metal from zero to 60 in a quick 5.4 seconds, all while getting over 20 miles to the gallon. And when you snag a Denali with all this luxury for under 20 grand, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better deal. But luckily, we're only getting started and you guys know that I always save the best for last. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, how could a cheap luxury truck list be complete without the quintessential American luxury brand, Cadillac? The Cadillac Escalade EXT Sport Utility Truck, which I personally think looks like a really expensive mullet. You know, all the business in the front and the party in the back. <laughs> Started at $54,000 new and was a three ton hunk of luxury on wheels. Now, the early trucks, the 2002 to 2006 had the ugly headlights and you wanna stay as far away from those as possible. But you step up to 2007 and Cadillac gave the truck a much needed makeover. And now it looked like the rock star that it really was. And you gotta admit, to say that this is one of the most ridiculous vehicles ever made, would be an understatement. At first glance, you can tell that GM was thinking luxury first, truck third. This thing oozes luxury out of its tailpipe with a 6.2 liter V8 with 403 horses quietly purring under the hood. And those massive blingy 22 inch wheels are 100% ballin'. But when your glaze stops at that dismal 5.25 foot truck bed, you might think that it's not even gonna haul Jack to the job site, but Jack is kind of small, you know, your, your friend Jack. But you'd be so wrong, because this big boy caddy had a trick up its sleeve. The mid-gate divider system literally extends the usable bed into the rear seating area after folding just a few things down. And now you have eight feet of usable bed space for moving logs or tools or whatever truck guys do with trucks or Escalades. Hop inside and you're gonna find seating for five with finely stitched leather and wood and metal accents throughout. The materials used look and feel expensive. And the 10 speaker Bose system is gonna let you crank up Billy Ray Cyrus as you take on the long haul. Now this full frame luxury truck doesn't get the best gas mileage. 
drinking up 14 miles per gallon, but it will get you to highway speeds in a respectable 7.1 seconds. And you can find one of Cadillac's top of the line trucks for only 10K. Well, it's not a truck truck, but it's a strong deal at that price point. I don't think anybody can put a finger on exactly when trucks became more of a luxury toy than work tool. But about 20 years ago, Ford introduced to the world this, the Lincoln Blackwood, a beautiful F-150 with a carpeted bed and a hideous French door tailgate. That was a little too much for the general public to handle, to say the least. And although Ford struck out with the Blackwood, they did pave the road for where luxury trucks were headed and the 13th generation Ford F-150 Limited 4x4, the top dog in Ford's truck lineup, put luxury first and work a distant second. You can get it in any styling configuration as long as it's a four-door super crew cab with a five and a half foot bed. The easiest way to spot a Limited is those massive 22 inch wheels, which many donk owners would be jealous of. And on the inside, you're greeted with high quality leather heated and cooled seats, with massagers for the people lucky enough to sit up front. I definitely call shotgun. Also, limited exclusive wood trim and a panoramic glass roof for easy stargazing at night. Oh, so romantic. And this American Trucks engine is a show pony. Yes, the $51,000 plus rig comes with the EcoBoost V6 pumping out 365 horses and 420 foot pounds of torque. Good for a zero to 60 run in two ticks under six seconds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, makes it one of the best performing trucks on this list. And the good news is the F-150 Limited has lost half of its value and at roughly 30 grand is an insane luxury truck deal. I get it, cheap luxe trucks aren't for everyone. And there are parts from the F-150 Limited that make you realize that it all started its life as a $26,000 pickup truck. But there's a reason why Ford F-150s are America's number one selling vehicle. And if you wanna see why they're also the number one depreciating truck ever, check out this video where I explain why. And if you aren't gonna watch it right now, then it's time for the ideal question of the day, which is what is your favorite model of truck and generation and why? Let us know down in the comments. Love to see your guys' answers. Let's go. Okay, I get it. So you want a luxury pickup truck built like a rock? Well, for Chevy boys, buying the second generation Silverado with the top of the line LTZ trim was as good as you could get. And let's just say that it really wasn't even a contender when it came to the world of luxury pickups. But Chevy had a really, 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 really good reason. Remember the GMC Sierra Denali that we talked about before? General Motors didn't want to haul sales away from GMC by having a sibling rivalry. But that didn't last very long. For the third generation Silverado, Chevy stepped it up a notch with the 1500 High Country. The High Country is a basic Silverado dipped in chrome. Accents are everywhere, making it look more like a mall crawler than a mountain crusher. Body-wise, it's still just your basic Silverado, but the loud in-your-face trim pieces make it look like a $50,000 plus truck, which it should, because that's how much it costs brand new. And while the outside is a flashy sprinkling of chrome, the inside is a cowboy's dream. Should have been a cowboy. The designers at Chevy went hog wild, covering everything, and I mean everything in saddled colored leather, and it extends way beyond the seats. Oh, and the dash stitching carries on the Western theme and ties the knot for this bow tie truck dressed up in a dapper suit, but it doesn't stop there. Oh no, because sitting behind the massive chrome grill sits a 6.2 liter V8 with 420 horses ready for a riot. And the mechanical similarities between this motor and the Corvette LT1 are undeniable, which is pretty cool because you definitely have bragging rights when it comes to having a VET motor under the hood. What you got? VET motor? Oh, okay, you wanna race for pinks? Mm-hmm, okay. But if you don't opt for the Corvette motor, well, there's an other far less fun option. It's the 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 mil, which is no slouch in its own right with 355 horsepower, but I mean, that engine, am I right? Either way, you really can't go wrong, especially when you can find deals on deals for under 30K all day long. But before you buy using the ideal car and truck strategies, I got you. You gotta decide whether you're gonna go with the GMC Sierra Denali or the Chevy Silverado High Country. Both are incredible options, but you do gotta choose.
Oh, baby. Next up is the super de duper loaded Toyota Tundra 1794. It's the same full size Tundra from the automaker that's synonymous with reliability, but given a decidedly more American flair. Why do they call it the 1794? Well, the land that Toyota built their $2.2 million assembly plan on to build the Tundra and Tacoma was previously owned by the JLC Ranch since 1794 in Texas. This is their homage to the history of that ranch. So what's the difference about the 1794? I guess Toyota thought that the Tundra was already pretty much perfect because not really much. What has changed is a fancy custom emblem on the outside and the interior. The inside of the third generation 1794 Tundra is roomy. Tons of legroom for the driver and back seat passengers. But as you can see, the 1794 edition takes it one step further with supple leather and beautiful stitching, which they hoped would make the initial buyer fork over almost $50,000 MSRP new. I mean, it had custom floor mats and that's worth it, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, you wouldn't have to pay anything close to that. You can ride this Bronco for under 20K. This Yoda is doing Texas proud. And since we're on that truck kick, check out which full-size rigs lose the most money or check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. And if you like this video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. But either way, you can't lose. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.